let's take a look at the B flat major scale um, without a capo. It can be pretty friendly. Uh, we got some key notes in the scale. We got a D note that we can use as an open string, and we have a G note also within that scale that can, you know, we can utilize our open string to kind of play um, like a B flat chord with that open D string going. on some licks and stuff. But here, uh, I'm gonna go over the scale and the open position here and give you a couple different versions of it. So we're gonna start on that third fret of the sixth string, which is our B flat note. To the C note, first fret of the fifth string. Hit that fourth string open for D. E flat on that first fret. F on the third fret. Third string open is G. Second fret is A. Third fret is that B flat again. So that's the first octave. Right, so you can already see as you're like descending the scale, it's it's uh, very uh, um, feels natural to kind of do those pull-offs on the open strings. Whenever possible. All right, as we keep going up the scale, I'll start on that third fret of the third string. Play that C note again, uh, first fret of the second string. First string open is the D. First fret is E flat. Third fret is F. Fifth fret is G. Seventh fret is A. Eighth fret is that B flat. And then coming down, I, I usually like to incorporate the second string just to make it a little easier. So I'll start on the 8th fret of the 1st fret, 7th fret, then I'll grab a G note on that 8th fret of the 2nd string. Grab the F at the 6th fret of the 2nd string. Then I'll get the E flat again at the 1st fret of the 1st string. 2nd string open for the D, 1st fret. Second string for the C. Back to the root at the third fret of the third string. So you can kind of do all those with slides if you're working on it, kind of speeding things up. Do a little pull off of that first fret. getting it down and you know memorizing the notes is always a plus it definitely pay, pays off in the long run uh, one thing to note you probably know already but our four string open can also be played that D note is the third fret of the fifth string so you're, you're gonna utilize that option quite a bit too um, but it's good to kind of know that you know you got the same note in two different spots, very close together here. Uh, first string open, third fret, second string. Those are D notes. You know, when you're playing the B flat chord on the third fret, you are utilizing uh, those third frets of the fifth and second string. Let's play a simple call and response lick utilizing the scale and the chord shape of the B flat major. All right, 
for that lick. I'm just sliding from that first fret and then I'm sliding up to the D note on the third fret like we talked about before. So I'm not using that first string open quite yet. And then I'm going to go and just play that F note on the third fret of the first string. Hit that twice. Back to that D note on the second string. Then I am going to utilize that first string open and do a hammer on pull off with that E flat note on the first fret. Then I hit that first fret of the second string, the C note. Kind of resolve it back to that root note, the third fret of the third string. Then the response to that phrase is just going to be that third fret doing a pull off on that third string to the third fret of the fourth string. Zero three on the third string again, so G and B flat. First fret of that second string, that C note. And then back to that B flat chord. So yeah, kind of goof around with that B flat in the open position. Um, it can be kind of fun to switch it up if you are in, a, in the middle of a set or a jam where you know the keys of B or B flat are being used a lot and you're capoing at the third fret playing out of your G position. Uh, maybe it's uh, not quite a fast bluegrass song or maybe it's like a waltz or something. You can, you can kind of feel a little more comfortable not having to keep up with the speed of things. Um, and taking that capo off, playing in that open position to kind of get some different sounds, you know, maybe not repeat some of the same licks over and over again, um, but every, everyone does that, so don't, don't worry about it too much. <laughs> but really, I mean, it can be great for a ballad or, or like I said, a waltz. You know, there's going to be a E flat chord and F chord probably going on when you're playing in the key of B flat. You know, you can always go up to that E flat. kind of get to where you can kind of move around between the one, the four, and the five chord um, and get comfortable doing it and see if you can get some new sounds out of it. <laughs> <laughs> 